About eight months ago, I posted my first video taking a look at Apex gaming PCs. And let's just say things have apparently somehow only gotten worse. And we're going to talk about it in this week's episode of System Integrators Weekly. You know what? No, no. You guys don't even, Apex, you don't even get, no. No, you don't even get the cool intro. Roll this special edition thing. What's up, everyone? I'm Bray Thorne. Welcome back to SI Weekly. Sorry we took a break there after CES. Cuddles got sick, and then I got sick and had other things to deal with right after getting back. So it was crazy. But we're back. We're back on. We're getting back on track and uh, cooking up something really cool because we're finally going to be doing something I've been talking about for a long time. But that's all good stuff. We're here to unfortunately focus on bad stuff. And that bad stuff is, is is all centralized around one company, and that is Apex Gaming PCs. Let's just say that the very first thing you see when you go to their website is an outright lie. It's a fallacy. This is not a real computer. This is a fake AI generated image. In fact, it even tells you this is a fictional representation of a PC, which is appropriate because it's brought to you by a fictional representation of a reputable system integrator. This thing has three sticks of RAM in it. And like, what does that even say right there? What is that? What does that even say right there? What is that? This is actually their latest one. And this is unbelievably idiotic. I don't even know where to start. First off, his gaming desk is a table from the Renaissance Festival for some reason. He's playing with a mouse and some weird swirly controller thing that he's not even holding right. He has two gaming headsets for no reason. His eyes have melted out of his face. There are balls raining down from the sky. Can we point out the keyboard? The keyboard is mishmashed. It, it's melting. There's a tiny weird off-putting little football on his mouse pad desk pad thing for some reason and why is there a tumbleweed on his desk and what game is he playing there are multiple people holding footballs in this apparent football play without hands because they do not have hands the apex alpha is not just a pc it is your portal into a world that makes you happier and helps you forget about any stressors or challenges. I don't think I wanna to go to this world. It's horrifying. And what's with the candles? Are you gaming or having a seance? You do not need that many pencils, my friend. Nobody does. And the gaming tower itself, the thing that should be the focus of the whole picture, looks like it's from 2005. It has like six optical bays. Who thought that this looked good enough to put on the front page of a business's website. Not actually building PCs is the theme for Apex, um, which you guys will find out as we continue through this. It's really mind boggling, the stuff that they think they can get away with. We're gonna take a trip back to the beginning when I first covered this, and uh, then we're gonna go through what they changed after my coverage came out. Right after I let you know, that this video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. A couple disclaimers really quick. Pricing and availability that you see here uh, is likely to change, although that shouldn't matter because you shouldn't buy anything off of this website regardless. Uh, speaking of opinions, <laughs> the second disclaimer is that you're going to hear opinions in this video. Let's go ahead and add to that. You're going to be hear opinions, anger, some rage, a lot of hyperbole, and generally just frustration, some disbelief of oh, sprinkled throughout, lots of disbelief. Uh, but that's, that's all those things belong to me. Those are my things. Um, I imagine that many of you will agree and 
the amount of people that may not agree probably number in the amount of, oh, I don't know, how many people work at Apex Gaming PCs? That many people might disagree. And the next, of course, this is not financial advice. I don't give financial advice. I give, I, I, I share my, my viewpoint, my experience, and what knowledge I do have. I do all of that in the interest of you making an informed decision for yourself rather than me telling you, hey, buy this or buy that. And especially in this case, I'm, I am saying don't buy this, but I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to show you why. I'll be very clear about that. The last thing is, if you want to get a pre-built, that's the only thing you want to do. I am here to support that. I'm here to help that. It's the number one gateway into PC gaming. And for many, it's the number one gateway into PC DIY, if that's something you want to do. Now, if you are on the fence about whether you should go DIY or uh, pre-built, I can recommend to someone who's done DIY for like 25 years now, it, there's plenty of resources out there. If you're feeling like you, you could do it, go DIY. You're going to save a bunch of money. I mean, in some cases, not a bunch of money, but you'll save money and it's a great experience. But for those of you who don't want to go take that route, that's what this channel is for. That's what we're here to help you with. And that is totally cool with me anyway. So this video is the one that I posted eight months ago, and it was the, it's the only video I've done on Apex gaming PCs. And um, it's the, let me just read out the description to you. This was my first look at Apex gaming PCs. I was honestly hoping to publish a positive video showcasing a system integrator I hadn't spoken of before. So my viewers would have another good option to consider when buying a pre-built gaming PC. Watch as my expectations are dashed right before your eyes as the video progresses. It didn't go well. And it's true. You can actually watch the light of optimism in my eyes die slowly as red flag after red flag after red flag presented itself to me on Apex Gaming PC's website. One of the main red flags was something I called them out on and they actually, because they were caught, fixed it. This showed up on most pictures whenever you looked at a build that you were maybe thinking about getting ships in 48 hours, okay? And then I accidentally, well, well, I mean, I dig through these sites. That's kind of what I do. It's my whole job. And a lot of SIs are not prepared for that, right? So they might get some uh, scrutiny that they're not prepared for. Like the fact that that thing that just blatantly said ships in 48 hours, this is the kind of company we're talking about, okay? It actually, it's, it's about $150 extra to do that. So instead of saying that 48 hour shipping available, no. They say it just ships in 48 hours. As if like the standard processing time doesn't take apparently a month and a half or longer and the rush build for 80 bucks is still about two weeks. When we hear what someone said about what happened when they actually paid for the 48 hour shipping, it's all lies. It's, a whole, it's all just BS. Then again, they're pretty upfront about that. They just show you right here. Hey, we don't. We could easily just build a computer and take a picture of it, throw together a setup in the corner of our office and take a nice picture. We're not gonna really do that, that's that's work. Just give us money and uh, maybe you'll get something, I don't know. What do you expect us to do? We're not, what are we, some kind of computer wizards? What do we know? I wanna bring something to y'all's attention though. There's a certain company that started out in one area of the country, right? And they had a pretty bad track record. Then they got bought out by a bigger, parent company in Texas, moved their operations to Texas, and then things got even worse. And that company was Light Gaming PCs. And guess what? Apex Gaming PCs started in another part of the country, had a terrible track record going by their Google reviews, and then got bought out by a larger parent company in Texas, moved to Texas, and things got worse. So Apex Gaming PCs, guess what? You have to look forward to if you keep on on the current track that you're following, light's gone and you will be too. The few people who actually get PCs from you, you'll be leaving them behind with no warranties. You'll have employees that actually maybe gave a damn about their jobs that are just people trying to go to work and build PCs that relied on you as their employer who are now jobless and you run out, whoever's in charge runs off with the money. That's exactly what happened with Light. And I'm seeing it happen all over again. They were a joke and you are a joke. And we're gonna talk about exactly why I'm saying that.
so this is the kind of video where I could just sit here yelling and I'd have a great time. Maybe you would, but that's not guaranteed. What I did was during a, a, a recent stream, we actually went through some of the builds together so that um, you can kind of follow along as I'm just raging at these insane deals, okay? But let's take a look at this one because look at this. It says streamer. It says streamer on it. What have I told you guys? If you're gonna put a label that is a use case like streamer, you need to pay attention to specific specs. So we've got a Ryzen 5 5600. So they're giving you a six core processor to run OBS, your, you know, Spotify, maybe whatever music player, your game, um, whatever apps you might be running, your stream deck, your, all your cameras or camera, whatever, um, what all that stuff, all that stuff at once, you have six cores and 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4 3600 at least. But like, also this is a $2,000 computer. It is $2,000. Now, Tell me, go ahead and tell me, oh, well, it's 25% off with code, it's cold. That's why they always have 25% off. But this is also not worth $1,500 either. One terabyte SSD, they don't tell you if it's PCIe Gen 3 or 4 or now 5. A 4060, okay, for a $2,000, $1,900 computer. A 450 watt power supply. Are you going to get the Lee and Lee fans? Are you going to get an AIO like this? 240 millimeter AIO? No, AMD stock cooler. Does it say, hey, the product you get may vary from what you like, maybe having an Intel Arc card in there and a 240 millimeter AIO and Lee and Lee fans in here, uni fans? Nope, nope, nope. And the fact that like they just used the picture from the case manufacturer is hilarious. It is so funny because it's not just this one. It's going to carry through. Watch. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what are the cases from them? Which one? It was, it's another one from them. So this one here, right? Okay. All right. Let's just click on that. <laughs> it's just, let's just do this right here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's another one that they just stole from the case manufacturer. I am starting to doubt whether they have built any PCs, especially considering some of the comments that we're going over in this video. Let's see what comes in a $4,200 system. An Intel i5. 14600 KF, they couldn't even get the non F SKU for $4,200. Uh, they're using their own 360 millimeter AIO. All right. A Z790 plus tough gaming motherboard. Wow, we're actually into something that has VRM cooling, guys. Holy shnikes. Uh, some somewhat slow DDR5, 32 gigs. Okay. <laughs> One terabyte of storage. One terabyte of storage for $4,200. And uh, well, look at them, 4070 Super. This is a 4090 system. It should be a 4090 system. I'm not crazy, right? Like that's bad. That's not, this is not my opinion, right? That's just, that's just terrible. Look, this literally is a thousand dollars cheaper after discount. That's not a discount, okay? That's a real, like, visible example of when a company will bloat the price and then cut, cut out a bunch of it to say, look at how cool this sale is. Look at how amazing this sale is. When I would not buy this thing for even $3,250. Hell no. With a 4070 Super and an FSKU i5 processor, like, and one terabyte of storage. One terabyte of storage at $3,200. Get the hell out of here. But no, if you put a price on something, it doesn't matter what your sale is, what your discount is. That's what you think it's worth and what people should be willing to pay. Any sales are beyond that, okay? To make it an even better deal. So this right here does not count for our assessment. I don't care. I don't care that they always have 25% off. That's not how you do business, idiots. We're gonna go to their refurbished PCs because there's an important bit of discourse here that I'm gonna share with you guys, all right? This right here, these three paragraphs are in there because of me. At least two of them anyways. Guess what? Red flag's still up there because this is how they decided to, because when I was like, if you're going to sell a refurbished PC, you have to show a picture. I don't know who, I don't care who you are. You don't buy anything refurbished sight unseen. Okay. You have to put a picture up. This is your website. My issue was that they're selling something quote unquote refurbished and they're not showing you pictures. 
So here's what they had to say about that. Apex Gaming PCs uses standard photographs for all Apex builds due to all externally facing parts, except the GPU and motherboard being brand new. PC appearance will vary based on options. All refurbished builds are priced using only used motherboards, CPUs, and GPUs. All remaining hardware is new. Is that a refurbished PC? Or is it a new PC being sold with used parts? By the way, I just noticed that this says fictional, you see this fictional representation of a PC. <laughs> Oh no, it's it's here too. It's right there too. Yeah, of course. They're so incapable of building a computer and taking a picture of it. They have to AI generate their freaking front page of their website. The first thing you see when you go to Apex Gaming PCs is a lie. Oh my God. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Oh God, this content writes itself. Now, I am passionate about what I do. We are passionate about what me and Cuddles are passionate about what we do. We're very, we're very dedicated to this uh, because there are companies like Apex Gaming PCs out there that are charging double or triple what someone would pay for something DIY. And um, I mean, not even Falcon Northwest does that, okay? And their stuff is expensive, but you get value out of it. You get actual value out of it. They're pricing higher than boutique builders and people are paying it. And we need to talk about how that's going for them. This is upsetting for me. I don't, you know, I don't think I can do this one sitting down. I think I need to go for a walk. And, you know, I know, I know, I know the most appropriate place possible to talk about a company like Apex Gaming PCs. So you might be wondering, what place might that be? Well, I'll tell you. We had to come to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, where you can spend twice as much money to get half as much as you paid for. We were even picky about what hotel, casino, resort we stayed at so that it would be appropriate to the theme of Apex Gaming PCs. You see, Las Vegas is a place where regular people can go and bring their hard-earned money and spend it all in the hopes of something amazing happening and getting something wonderful out of it, just to have their hopes dashed every single day. Now I happen to know of another place just like that, apexgamingpcs.com. You can spend your hard-earned money there and hope for something awesome and get absolutely nothing. Now, that's not just coming from me. You should hear some of the comments we've gotten. Let's take a look. Let's see. Deborah Lewis-MJ2UJ says, my grandson ordered a PC from Apex approximately a month ago. Haven't seen anything, tried to speak to someone, had to schedule a call back in the future for 20 minutes only. He has waited a long time to get a PC. It was his 13th birthday gift. My heart is breaking for him. Someone please help me, tell me what I need to do. Then we have uh, Lorna Snow 1210 who said, paid over 7K for Apex Gaming ready to ship, quote in quotations, unit. Been over two months. They won't refund my money because they have ordered the parts for the build, but have no idea when the build will occur. Stay away from Apex. That was a ready to ship. I guess maybe it was almost ready to ship. Just give them two months. Chanel Fuller, 1723. Don't do it. I've had the absolute worst time with Apex. I placed my order in April. I just got it two weeks ago. This was one month ago in December. And they've repeatedly made mistakes or there was a hidden invoice somewhere. Also, I finished my setup and then neglected to include the product key. So we're talking from April to December. Now we got Shadowstorm Vash, okay? Order a $7,600 PC with the 48 hour rush. 48 hour rush is an extra $150, by the way. On August 17th, still not here, September 3rd. Extreme false advertising from Apex. Apparently they don't work Fridays during the summer for some reason. Also, I live in Texas, three hours from where this is being built. 
So what's the deal, Apex? Really? Can you build a PC or not? Can you ship a PC or not? You certainly can take the money for a PC, but can you build it and ship it? I know one thing, you certainly can't spec out a PC properly. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you think a PC that costs almost $4,000 should come with a 512 gig drive for its only storage, DDR4, a 4070 Ti, and an FSQ i7 processor? Really? Is that what we think? I don't think so. And Apex don't come back and tell me, oh, well, you see, it's actually $3,000 because we constantly run 25% off on our way overpriced PCs because that's still double the price of the parts involved because I spec'd out that PC myself. And it's between $1,600 and $1,700 on PC Part Picker for those components. I was even generous with it and used a brand name case, whereas in the picture, it shows an off-brand case. Now we know this because our editor Cuddles hunted down where the picture is actually from. And the picture is from the case manufacturer's website. It's their picture of the case with some random parts in it that have nothing to do with the parts specced out in the system. And they can say all they want. Oh, the system may look different based on the choices you make. There are no choices on a ready to ship quote unquote system. And I ask you this. If they protest that, oh, it doesn't actually cost $4,000, it costs $3,000. That's a load of crap. Because if it's the case that you're saying it's actually three grand, then it's not really a sale, is it? The price you list is what you think it's worth. And a sale is supposed to be a value beyond that. But no, they're just using that as a ruse to let you think you're getting a good deal by paying double the price. Now listen, when it comes to Las Vegas, probably not my favorite place in the world, feel free to come here and have a vacation. Bring all your hard earned hundreds or thousands of dollars and gamble it away, hoping to get something out of it. Because that is less of a gamble than buying from Apex Gaming PCs. <sighs> Was that a little bit dramatic? Potentially, if sometimes you just need to be bringing a little bit of drama to get the point home. Apex, you guys need to change your tune because this is a song that's been sung before and that song is over. I know where you guys are going. If you keep treating customers this way, pricing your products this way and acting like you're in some kind of vacuum, some kind of bubble where there is no scrutiny. Where people like me, guys like me, can't just go to your website and be like, you're ridiculous you need to stop. So maybe stop and look at yourselves and be like, hey, we kind of suck. Maybe we should stop that. Whoever it is that's sitting at a computer desk and pricing out your systems, they're not doing the job they should be doing. Learn the industry that you're in. So whatever I can do, I'm going to be out here doing to maybe encourage you guys to change your tune because this language saying stuff like, oh, well, that we just use the used parts for the three things in the CPU, GPU, motherboard in a new system. Nobody else does that. We don't need to put a picture. They're all the same. You could even, you'd at least take one picture because you didn't take any pictures. They're all from your case manufacturer. Like, can you not build a computer and take one picture of it? It's, it's idiotic. And also learn the definition of refurbished. I like to bring positivity to my videos, to this industry, because there's a lot of negativity around pre-built. But y'all need to understand that this is one of those companies that is the reason for that negativity. Because when it comes to Apex, that negativity is completely legitimate. So now my answer, when someone says all pre-built suck, I'm like, no, 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 just Apex. I hope it was a, a good ride while it lasted because now I am fixated, fixated on you, Apex, on you either completely renovating the way you do things and taking care of every customer you have screwed over visibly with accountability, all those people you have screwed over, or I will do everything in my power to make sure every single person knows 
that any option is a better option than you. That's not me like being arrogant, getting on a high horse. That's my job. <laughs>